So, you want to make a stone cold material, kind of like that guy named Austin. Hey guys, I'm Matt, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.92. Taking a look at how to make this, like, looking stone, kind of, you know, bluish kind of tinted material kind of thing, which I really, really enjoy quite a bit. So this is uh, one of my favorite ones. It's so I love the simple ones like this. We've done something similar, but I did add a little bit of a twist to this material as well. So the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is drag your, uh, your, your, your canvas and split it into two. Put your cursor up in the top left hand corner and just drag until your corner turns into a plus. Cursor turns into a plus like that. And then just hit this little button right here and change this to the shader editor. Um, and now we, we're good to go. So this is the material right here. This is what it is. It's nothing too crazy. So by default, the the material should have a principal BSDF shader and a material output. So all I added was a couple of different things here, just these nodes here um, and this one as well. So the first thing I want to do is we'll go ahead and just uh, worry about this first one first. So let's not worry about any of this. I'm just going to move all this down. Hit G to move things, by the way. All right, so this is the material at a, at a basis. This is what it started off as. So essentially what we have here if I unplug this, is I just added a noise texture. So if you hit Shift A, search, noise, and then grab noise texture there. Boom, place it down. I put the scale on 5, the detail on 16, and the roughness on 7.5. The distortion is on 0.2. So it looks like this pretty much. This is what it looks like. You can see that a little nice little distortion there, which looks good. Nice little roughness. Um, that's it. And by the way, the base, the base material is just literally all metallic, 100% metallic. A little bit of roughness, 1.5. 1.5 roughness uh, everything else is maxed to zero except for IOR of course and then the base color is a very slightly blue colored like whitish color like that so very slightly blue um, and then I grab the color let me go ahead and put this color into I believe it is the roughness yes there we go the color into roughness and uh, and there we go it looks good the way that it is and um, that's it so cool we can move on now I just hit shift D while well, with this noise texture selected hit shift D duplicate that and then we put it down here um, and the, the values are exactly the same so 5 16 7.5 sorry point 0.75 sorry and 0.2 for distortion then I just went ahead went ahead and hit shift a search for a bump uh, material right there bump sorry uh, node and then plop that right down here plug the noise into the height of the bump and then the normal into the normal of the principal BSDF now this creates a nice little um, kind of uh, bump mapping you can see there on the material if you look over to the right you see it has a nice little thing going on there it looks like stone very nice uh, very nice little you know addition to the material you know what I'm saying um, and then we go ahead and just have the strength on point 0.8 we can max this to point point we're going to do 0 0.085 um, and then the distance is on point 0.9 point 0.9 you can also probably just put this on one to be honest with you but hey listen you can put it on point 0.2 that'll just make it softer I'm actually going to turn mine down to point, point 0.3. I think point 0.3 looks good. Um, and then we'll move down here. Now, I didn't think this was enough. Now, it looks good the way that it is, but I thought it was missing something. It looked just too much the same everywhere. So I was like, okay, what can I do here? So we added a couple more things. If I grab and grab all this and hit G to move it back up, you can see that I added a Shift A uh, Mix Shader, which is just Shift A, uh, Search, Mix, and then just grab Mix Shader there. And you can see, let me plug the shader into the surface. There we go. And then uh, we duplicated the principal BSDF shader. So we just grab this, hit Shift D to duplicate it, and then just move it down here. Make sure both of these are plugged into the shader of the mix shader. There we go. Looking good. And then after that, we just literally didn't change anything. These values are the same. So both of the principal BSDF shaders are exactly the same. I just duplicated it. Same thing with this. I duplicated the noise texture, Shift D, grabbed it, put it down here. Change the scale to 8, the detail to 16, and the roughness to 0.54. Um, and there we go. So if you can tell what this is done, what this did is it added a very subtle like uh, Darker color noise as you can see if you see that moving around right there So a very subtle dark color noise um, and that just kind of like makes everything look a little bit more uh, Depth like you know uh, deeper, you know, yeah like that um, And then we go ahead and have the uh, the roughness on point like that point uh, five four distortion on zero the bump is on point zero three and distance is on one and then the Voronoi texture, which I've also, which I've actually changed, I've changed out for this noise texture. This is now a Voronoi. So Shift A, search, and then V O R for Voronoi texture. Put that right there. I have this to set to 3D, F1, Elu Eludian, 
Yes, I know how to spell it. Yep, but wonderful. That's exactly how you say it. Perfect. Um, and then the scale on 9.1 and the randomness all the way up to 1 as well. So what this does is pretty much adds that nice, you can see that little, those little things right there. It adds a nice kind of like hard edge kind of look to this, which makes it look kind of like diamond or some kind of crystallized thing or something which I really, really enjoy. It's a very subtle, uh, it's a very subtle effect. You really only notice it when I start moving the scale. You can see it a lot there, as you can see. But like when I actually let go, you don't really notice it that much. So you can have a higher value, make it look like a golf ball. I don't know what you're doing. But it looks this looks nice. It looks really like crystallized. It looks like some kind of rock. And I absolutely adore it. So it looks really good. I'm going to leave this on 16.8. looks really good like that, actually. Um, and then, of course, like I said, both of these are fed into the mix shader at 0.5 a factor. And then this is then fed into the surface. And that is the whole material. That's literally it. That's the whole thing. So I really, really enjoy this material. I think it looks really cool. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I really quite enjoy it. So that's that. You can put this on a Suzanne monkey. Just go ahead and add that just real quick. Let me add a subsurface modifier. And then we'll just uh, bump that up. Turn this to object shade smooth. And then give it the same material. And as you can see, we can see it on a different material here. It just looks absolutely... Come on. You, you know you want to. Phenomenal. There you go. So I really, really do enjoy this material quite a bit. Um, it, it's very simple, but it has a nice, a nice quality to it, and I really do enjoy it. And I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, did as well. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye.